afternoon, everyone. This is Tony from Her Homestead Skills, and I just got back from being out and about. Um, today is Remembrance Day, at least that's the term that we use for it here in Canada. Uh, Mark has used the term Armistice Day, and I had to ask him what that meant, because although I'd heard the term, I wasn't really familiar with the meaning for it, but it's virtually the same in the UK they use the term Armistice Day. And in the US, it's called Veterans Day. So even though we may all call it by a different name, we all mean the same thing. It is the day of November the 11th that is used to honor veterans. And I don't know why it has to always be such a cold day here in Canada whenever it's Veterans Day, Remembrance Day. And of course, there are events <clears throat> to honor this day uh, throughout North America and certainly here in Canada as well. And I'm glad to see that they still, um, that they have replaced some of the um, gatherings that we've been seeing too much of lately. It's good to see that people are gathering today for a different reason than the reasons that they've been gathering for in the not too distant past, the last few days and weeks and so. Um, getting a little bit tired of uh, those protests and people being angry all the time. Um, I have this feeling that a lot of these people have no idea what, the, what it is that they're protesting in the first place. And I think I suggested to Mark that uh, there's something deeper underlying all of this. There, there's uh, this is an excuse to show how disaffected and how upset and how angry they are. They've latched onto this one issue and that is really not what the big problem is for most of these people. Most of these people have underlying issues that they probably can't address and they probably can't even voice or, or say what it is that's upsetting them and what they're angry about. Certainly the world is not in great shape. Uh, economics are not in great shape. Uh, housing is terrible. Food prices are bad. Gas prices are high. People are just unhappy about everything and the world is in a bad place right now. So if it is just the latest issue that has captured people's attention and given them an outlet to voice their concerns. I believe a lot of it is that. I believe certainly that there is some, there are some people that truly believe in what these protests are all about, but not the masses that have been going out. I believe that the masses are just disaffected in general and have found an outlet to voice their um, to voice their grievances. So something something to think about. I don't I don't know what it is that we can you know do to help turn people around and help them put a smile on their face again. But I am a little bit tired of people just being miserable and disaffected and unhappy and. Hopefully the holidays can change some people's minds, but uh, we'll see what happens there. Certainly the holidays are coming up and Christmas is usually a very um, special time. And uh, especially for Christians who believe in Christ and believe in Christ's message, it's uh, a time of celebration. So let's hope that uh, Christians do get to celebrate this day and are not dragged into more and more uh, um, misery because we don't need any more of that. We need reasons to be cheerful. We need reasons to be happy. So I have noticed being out and about that the stores are full of goods that uh, they want to sell for the Christmas season, which is good. Um, I like to see stores doing well. I'd like to see retail outlets um, succeeding. I uh, don't want to have everything come through um, deliveries. Um, I noticed that there are people who don't 
order everything online and everything is delivered to them and I just have not gotten into that mode myself. I like to go to the stores, I like to uh, look at the items, I like to feel if it's clothing, the fabric, I like to be able to try it on. I have one of those bodies that for some reason I love the way something looks on a hanger but when I put it on it looks like hell on me <laughs> and that happens more often than not so I definitely like to try things on before I buy and uh, there is just seems to be too much of this uh, ordering it and if it doesn't if it's not right just shipping it back and I don't know how much product gets shipped back um, and, and probably ends up in seconds shops or discounted uh, bins of some sort simply because they people just ordered them without knowing what it is that they were buying or without concern about uh, their ability to be able to send it back. I mean you, certainly you can return things you know you go to a Costco store and the lineup for returns is always uh, fairly lengthy but uh, you know and they take things back no problem but at least most people there have an opportunity to pick things up and to feel it and to know what it is they're buying um, it is a very successful chain here in Canada so yes there are going to be disaffected people who bring things back and I've uh, I think I brought something back once and uh, I found it to be very um, a non-issue so it was a, it's a good place to shop in that sense you don't get uh, any flack for bringing things back that you don't want anyway I'm still in <laughs> the mode to get rid of things here and uh, <clears throat> probably have to go through quite a lot of clothing and probably Mark should get rid of a lot of things too but he's uh, he doesn't like to get rid of things either though although I keep telling him get rid of these pants you're never going to wear them get rid of this you're not wearing them and and I keep buying him new t-shirts but he still keeps the old so um, I'm one to I'm not, I'm not one to complain too much I have uh, many of my older but what I believe are good quality clothing that I do not want to get rid of but I probably should so I think I'm gonna have to go through a bit of a purge in that sense after I'm finished purging in my kitchen so and uh, medicine cabinets could use the same thing you know getting rid of medication that is either outdated or um, you know was for a special purpose that you no longer are going to uh, use you know those should be cleaned out and gotten rid of um, no sense in keeping pill bottles around that really have no value to you anymore so yeah there are, that is one of the things that I can do this time of year is sort of a cleaning out and a purging and and there's probably filing cabinets full of paper that I could do the same thing with so little by little I'm going to go through my home and clean it up and probably make space for <laughs> to fill it up again with new things anyway I uh, hope everyone is doing well I just wanted to pop in and say hello uh, not too much going on I have checked my freezer and I have so much meat and I have so many canned goods and I have so much stuff that I really don't need to do much I was going to make another a pot of uh, chicken stock for Mark uh, he's still good for a few days and uh, I dug through the freezer and I found that I have tons of meat of all different varieties what I don't have is his uh, um, chicken carcasses I thought I had some but uh, so I'll pick that up in the next day or so and I'll be making more chicken stock and and it's working out quite well putting it in the refrigerator rather than canning it and uh, it allows some of the fat also to come to the top and he can remove some of it if he wants but I have to get off out to the store and pick up a few packets of those and uh, keep him in chicken stock for the winter okay this is 
Tony from her homestead skills, not too much going on. Um, hope everyone's getting prepared for the holidays. That's probably the important thing. I'm hoping to spend some time with the family soon, so that's always a wonderful thing. And happy Veterans Day, and hopefully you uh, can show a little bit of kindness to one of those people to remember what they've done for us. Anyway, this is Tony from For Homestead Skills. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.